All right guys, MTech Guy here, and today's video is going to be a continuation of the last video I put out where we took a look at that problem I had with the rear screen wash. Now the reason I've done this in two parts is because it normally, nine times out of ten, the issue can be resolved just by cleaning the rear nozzle, which is what we did in that previous video. Now if you're still experiencing issues with it not working once you've cleaned that out, then we need to move on to the inner tailgate area there's a few panels to remove and then we need to gain access to a small nozzle on the back of the wiper motor a hose and a small non-return valve they normally can get clogged up also like I say nine times out of ten you can resolve the issue just by cleaning the rear nozzle like we did in the previous video but in today's video we're going to go through the steps required to go further with the repair to clean out them inner parts now another reason I've split this across two different videos is because this repair is a little bit more involved than the previous repair but if you're keen on working on your car yourself, keen on doing a few DIY repairs then it's not that hard. Alright so let's take a look at the tools that we're going to require to carry out this repair on the inner tailgate. Alright so let's take a look at the tools we're going to need to get the job done today. So just like the previous video we're going to need a container with some hot soapy water in also a squirty bottle, I've got a little bit of dishwashing liquid in there, nice hot soapy water. A pair of pliers. A small skinny sharp tool for cleaning out the nozzles. And then to be able to remove the inner plastic panels on the inside of the tailgate there, we're also going to need a small flat blade pocket screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver and also a T25 Torx tool there. Alright, so let's take a look at the steps required to get this cleaned out. So before we start, it is worth removing the plastic cover here. That just levers up at the back like that and then slides off. And then again, we're going to pull the nozzle out and then that'll leave that opening wide open. We'll use the pliers to pull this one out. There we go. Okay, so on the inside of the tailgate here, you've got the hose, of course, from the front of the car, from the engine bay, and that goes through a non-return valve and then that connects to a small elbow, a nozzle, which in turn connects it to the spray nozzle. Now we've cleaned the nozzle and the opening here for the nozzle, so we're going to take it a step further today and we're going to remove the panels inside the tailgate and we're going to access that non-return valve and the small nozzle on the inside. It's inside the motor and we'll give that a good clean, connect it all back up, see if we've got a working nozzle. Okay, so first up we've got these two plastic screws to remove here, so we're going to use our Phillips screwdriver for that. We're going to back the screws right out and then these clips just pop out. And we'll take our small flat blade screwdriver to pop them out. Next up we're going to remove these two screws here and they take the T25 Torx. Alright so now we're ready to remove the plastic cover here to gain access to the motor where the hose and the fittings are that we want to clean out but to be able to get this off we also need to remove these two side trims and this trim that sits along the top of the inner tailgate there so to do that just need to get your fingers underneath there and pop it off it's just held on by a number of clips all around the perimeter and then the same with this once you get to this it's just a heap of clips around the outside I think there's a couple in the middle there so it's a case of just getting your fingers in there and teasing it off. Be careful as you go, you don't want to break any clips if you can help it. So you start with this one and then work your way around to the outsides and then finish up with the main one we want to remove there. And then as you work round, when you come to these tabs that hold the parcel shelf cords on, you do need the Phillips screwdriver to get them screws out of there. They're holding them on, so we'll get them out of the way and then we'll continue working the way around. Now then, you can see we've got all the plastic trim removed. And just one other note, when you are removing that large piece away from here, you will also need to disconnect your wee boot pull cord there. So just pop it out and push it through the hole as you feed it away. So now we've got access to the motor and most importantly, the hose here. There's the non-return valve and there's the fitting with the nozzle for the hose. So we'll start off by removing the hose from the non-return valve. We'll operate the rear screen wash and just make sure we're getting screen wash exiting the hose here and what we'll do is just work our way through removing one part at a time giving it a good clean out and then we'll put it all back together and see if we've got it working 
Okay, so as you can see, I've got the hose disconnected from the non-return valve there. And I've just got it tucked up there behind them wires because I don't want it squirting water directly into the boot there. So to be able to operate the screen wash with the tail door open, we're gonna have to latch this boot latch shut. You can do that with your Phillips screwdriver. And now we can go and operate it and see if we've got any water squirting out of there. Okay, so I've just confirmed that I've got water coming out of the hose there. So what we can do now is if you grab the boot emblem, we can put that latch back to where it should be. So next up, what I'll do is I'll remove this non-return valve. I'll give it a good wash out, a good clean out. And then same, I'll remove this hose and just give this fit in here a good clean out too. So as you can see, I've got that small section of hose removed here along with the non-return valve. Now I've given this a good clean out in some soapy water and I've also cleaned the opening there with a small thin sharp tool. You can use a needle or a thin bit of wire. But to be honest, this does look nice and clear. So next up, we'll move on to the nozzle on the back of the wiper motor there. So now we can take a look at this nozzle on the back of the wiper motor here. That's where the hose connects. And you can see if we take a closer look, it's full of gunk and slime in the opening there so I think that's our culprit so to be able to remove this to give it a good clean out you can see it's got some small pegs here four of them plastic ones now we're going to take our pliers and just squeeze them together and then just tease this off with a screwdriver we want to be careful that we're not going to break any of them plastic clips so just take your time we'll get it off there all right so I'm now ready to remove this so like I say I just squeezed them little clips with the pliers and as I had them squeezed I just worked round sliding that thin small pocket screwdriver around the perimeter and it did just ease off nicely but like I say do take your time because you don't want to break anything here so now we can remove this and what we'll do is we'll wash this in the soapy water and give it a good clean out with that tool that end looks okay but you can see it's all blocked up at that end and also we've got a bit of a blockage here so we'll give that a good squirt with the soapy water and we'll give it a good poke in the prod with that tool also get it all cleaned out okay so i've now got the little nozzle cleaned out it wasn't too bad just a bit of gunk in the opening there but i did find that when i cleaned where the nozzle connects to this opening here there was a lot of rust in there it was really bunged up so i used my tool to give that a good clean out gave it a good squirt with the soapy water as i went and as you can see by all the soap on the outside of the windscreen there it's squirted right through so i've got that nice and clear now so next up we can refit our nozzle but before we do so i think i'm gonna put the hose back on here and the non-return valve so i've got all that lot pieced back together now and that nozzle just literally snaps back into position on the wiper motor there so i think what i'll do before i go any further i'll just relatch the boot latch there and then i'll go and operate the rear wash just to make sure for my own sanity that it's spraying before we piece all the inside of the tailgate back together so as you can see that's doing its thing now so now we can piece everything back together so this is just going to be literally reverse of removal we'll start off by the main plastic trim there then we'll do the two side pieces and then finish up with that top inner piece there and they literally just snap back into place so now all the black plastics refitted we can Start off by installing the two screws that hold the parcel shelf cords. Then next up we can reinstall the two plastic clips and the openings here. And once they're installed, we can refit the two T25 torque screws. There we go. And now we can refit the plastic cover, the shroud. There we go. All right guys, we've now got that rear screen wash sorted and it's functioning correctly. Now, like I say, nine times out of 10, you can resolve this issue 
with them steps that I ran through in the previous video. I'll link it at the top of the screen here and I'll also put a link in the description below. But if you do still experience issues, then you'll more or less solve it by going a step further, getting on the inside of the tailgate there and going through the steps that we went through today. And this is a super common problem on these one series. And as they get older, it will be that inner nozzle that does get clogged with a little bit of rust. If you found the video interesting or useful, don't forget to give it a like and make sure you go and check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more BMW DIY videos. I'm MTech Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.